Oak Ridge produced the material that fueled the U.S. nuclear navy, as former Y-12 plant manager Gordon Fee recounts. The nuclear navy was created uh, through the discussions of two scientists, you might call, Admiral Rickover and Alvin Weinberg. Uh, Alvin Weinberg had been the scientist here in charge of reactor technology for a number of years in the late 40s and early 50s, and they began envisioning how nuclear power could be used to generate uh, electricity and how it might drive ships in order that they could stay at sea a lot longer. And it was through the discourse of those individuals uh, that the actual power plant design used in submarines was, was uh, uh, developed and created. The Admiral, being a very strong individual, and Alvin being very strong, uh, became good friends. And some of their personal letters are on file here at the Children's Museum, handwritten by the two of them back and forth, arguing about the merits of this or that, or in sometimes talking about their tennis game. When the Admiral decided that he had enough information designed, he did not want to be intertwined with the uh, efforts going on to develop nuclear power for electric generation here, and he uh, uh, convinced the uh, Atomic Energy Commission, the controlling entity of that era, to have his own laboratory off in, uh, I guess, a piece in Pennsylvania and a piece in Idaho to, to drive toward the nuclear navy. But all the first officers uh, for nuclear technology for the navy were trained here, and you could not have a nuclear power plant without the fuel, and the fuel was produced here at the Oak Ridge Gaseous Diffusion Plant. Uh, all the early fuel for nuclear power, whether it be for the Navy or, or uh, electrical power, you have to have the right fuel to put into the uh, power plant. And so when you think about Oak Ridge, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that we created the fuel and we created the idea, and we started the nuclear navy.